Warning. Children should have proper supervision while watching and practicing the lessons in this DVD. Before going fishing, know your local rules and regulations. Have fun and be safe out there. Chapter 5. Conservation. Kids and parents, this lesson is on conservation. Do we all agree that conservation is a very broad subject? Yeah, it is. Well, let me see if I can summarize it in a brief statement that we all agree on. Conservation is saving today for tomorrow. Conserving today to sustain our future to have a better quality of life down the road, or at least as good as we have it today. So many different types of fish in the sea. The jacks, the largest family of fish in salt water. Literally hundreds of different species of jack and snappers that you find in salt water. Many, many different types. Mangrove snapper, red snapper, beeline snapper, yellow mouth snapper, dog tooth snapper, cabrera snapper. I mean, there's a plethora of snapper out there, kids. You'll never be able to catch them all, but you certainly could try. And the pelagic fish that roam all the oceans of the world, the cobia, the dolphin, the bellfish, the wahoo, the king mackerel, the triple tail. It's a very interesting fishery. But it won't be here tomorrow for us to enjoy if we don't conserve today. There are literally hundreds of different freshwater fish out there. And it's our responsibility to make sure these fish do have that healthy habitat and good water quality to sustain their populations into the future. Coastal estuaries are where many of these species grow up and the habitat they need when they're small to survive. Mangrove areas and Spartina shorelines, oyster beds, clam beds, sea grasses, these are all some of the habitats that we've got to make sure that we have tomorrow to sustain these fish populations. Kids, it's up to us to make sure they're there for tomorrow. Hey kids, do you know what this is? That's right, it's a bottlenose dolphin. It's a mammal, it's a marine mammal, one of the most interesting and beautiful creatures on our earth. And this mammal depends on the same healthy habitat and clean water quality that the fish do and all of the animals that the fish depend on to survive. And we depend on the same things that this bottlenose dolphin depends on too, to sustain its population into the future. Kids, do you know what this is? That's right, it's a tarpon, one of the greatest game fish in the world. And today, we treat these tarpon with greater respect than we did a generation ago. We reduce the number we kill by practicing catch and release, we reuse them by practicing catch and release, and we recycle them by practicing catch and release. And also, safe handling of these fish too make many more survive today so that they will sustain into the future. Now kids, it's important to know these things so that you can practice them as you become a more proficient angler. Kids, you know what type of fish this is? It's a red drum. It's also called a puppy drum and a redfish too, depending on where you're fishing. Do you know what this fish depends on? It depends on healthy seagrass. And why is that? because of the things that live in that seagrass and the cover that it provides, the food that it provides, the oxygen that the seagrass provides, all of that's important. So seagrass is a critical habitat for a healthy redfish fishery. Boys and girls, you probably already know there's so many different habitats out there that fish depend on to have a healthy life. You've got bulrushes, lily pads, mangroves, sea grasses, pickerel weed. These are all important habitats, just to name a few, that fish depend on and also the animals that they depend on to survive. They need these healthy habitats. Sand core grass, it's a, it's a freshwater habitat. It's good to see here in this little retention pond. It was planted uh, and it's a native grass to freshwater lakes and throughout the southeast. It's an important habitat. And a lot of times what you'll see is you'll see snail egg casings here along the, uh, the 
the stem of the grass. And you know, that's really great because when the water gets high, the brim, the bluegill, and the smaller fish come and eat those snail eggs off of the grass. It's a great habitat. One of many that you're gonna find in freshwater throughout the United States. These freshwater plants are called golden canton lily and they provide shade and shelter for fish and food. And it's another important habitat that you're gonna find in a lot of your freshwater lakes. These red mangroves are great habitat in saltwater estuaries and brackish uh, waters. This is uh, one of three different types of mangroves that you'll find in the United States. The red, the black, and the white. They all have different root systems. You can see how this root system spreads out like fingers and it grabs land and it makes new land. It's a great habitat because it provides shade and shelter for fish and the other critters that fish have to have to live. So kids, I guess looking at conservation, there's a lot to be done. But you know those three R's go a long ways to helping us sustain our quality of life today into the future so you can enjoy it and your kids can too. So it's not enough just to learn the three R's, You've got to practice them at home and teach your parents and your friends too. And, and know that you can make the difference. You can make the changes that we can have a better planet in the future. All right, let's go out. Let's practice the three R's and let's have a better tomorrow. Hey kids, in closing, there are two things that we must have to have a healthy, sustainable fishery in the future. And that's healthy habitat and clean water quality. We have a combination of those things here in this pond. This is a great place to come fishing. So when you get a chance, go to your local neighborhood pond and go fishing. And remember, take your parents with you. They'll have a good time. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the bonus gear glossary. Please subscribe to our channel to watch the latest videos from Pure Ocean TV.